Today, I decided I wanted to build myself a bed frame, and I want to walk around my property, pull some wood, and make myself a California King bed frame for less than 100 bucks. I am not getting crazy with anything interior to my home anytime soon, but I did want to build myself something that wasn't basic and was a huge statement. Oh, she's a lady when she sits like that. What am I lever? What am I baby girl? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, can I get a double on one? Oh yeah, she's a talented bride thought that I would be doing a reclaimed lumber project with my own reclaimed lumber, but I have a ton. Let me show you. Well, you actually should know from the jacuzzi makeover, so let me just show you that real quick. I will be using some wood from the jacuzzi demo, which I did with my broads. You can see it in the card that I've linked and down below, but also there's just a ton of wood on my property that has already inspired like four projects I'm currently working on. I want to walk you guys around. That is one pile, okay? Hold. I have a ton of these. That right there a little sneak peeky to a coffee table diy i'm going to be doing so here's another pile and then there's more all of that now some is definitely junk some is not there is definitely some treasure in there but i know some treasure that i put aside all the way back by my workshop Originally, this bed was going to be a platform with storage, and then the more I walked my property and saw just basic ingredients, essentially, to a really incredible recipe, I decided to veer that way. And I'm really excited I did because you can see the jacuzzi wood already has an incredible texture. So I just started with a 60 grit, took it to an 80 grit to a 120, sanding it down with my orbital sander until it was nice and smooth because you do not want to get any type of splinters or kind of sticky situations when your legs rub up against it. So be very very cautious with that whole situation. Only area I needed to spend some money was to purchase the two by fours and lumber prices are on the high side of things right now. So that's kind of what brought the total up to $100. But if they were back to what they used to be, I would have spent maybe $50 on this bed in total. I just had to buy the two by fours and some pocket hole screws. Now listen, I am not the furniture queen over here. I do not build a ton of furniture, and every time I do build something, it's always for the first time. How I go about figuring out sizes is literally Google. So what I did was just double check Google and put in what is the size of a California King mattress. And then with that, I basically added four inches to each measurement, and that's where my base of the size of this build is coming from. So I might have to recut those two pieces. Yeah, I definitely do. Okay, cool. I'm glad I just did two. That's what happens, friends. Okay, so we'll recut these. That's fine. That's why you buy extra lumber. All right. I'm going to recut and be right back, okay, guys? Don't miss me too much. We're going to be working over there because it's a level ground. This is the sky over here. It says it's about to rain, so you're going to come with me <laughs> while we try to beat the storm. And I thoroughly enjoy non-complicated builds and that is just me. I am not one to get crazy with joint work or anything on the more advanced skill level quite yet, maybe one day, but right now I like keeping it simple. So I am building a basic frame. Measurements will totally depend on the size mattress that you have, but I'll put my measurements that I cut down below in the description box for you. I started with putting one middle support and then realized I need to put one going the opposite direction as well. And that is where I am doing a very, 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 very basic joint, which is called a half lap joint. What you want to do is cut the size of the wood, basically like how thick the wood is, and then you wanna cut half of its depth out to create a little notch. I like to use my circular saw to break it up into sections, go in with my chisel and hammer and pop out the pieces. That way it's much easier. And then you can hand chisel out to be as snug, tight, or loose that you need it to be to create this flush moment when you put them together. If you don't mess up like I did here, holy moly, Rachel Metz. Oh no guys, abort mission, it's raining. <laughs> I gotta run, 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 run. I gotta move my saw. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. You know what? No, I'm so close to being done. Come with me for three seconds. Oh my God, it's starting to rain harder than my chest. Coming too much. Never mind. Just kidding. The wind rains. The rain. The rain wins. Talk about dramatic. It literally rained for maybe 0.25 seconds. 
and now it's completely sunny. Fun life in the desert. And there was a sand tornado earlier, so I couldn't even do a different campaign for painting all of that stuff. Let's get back to the joint work. After the desert dramatics, holy moly, I moved forward with connecting that half lap joint, and you can see that is a little too snug, so I went out and chiseled it, but a little bit too much. That is okay when we add that middle support beam for the bed, that, that way when you like lie on the bed, it doesn't cave down in the middle. It will bring all that together and make it super strong. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the story where I legitimately changed my mind with this entire build, finding these four pieces of wood that were just screaming to be made into legs. I put the frame that we just made directly on top of those legs, and I did not mind that they were different sizes. I was going to chisel out each leg to have that frame rest level. I measured from a level ground up to ensure that where the frame was going to be resting is level, and then I proceeded to do essentially the same exact thing just on a larger scale of the half lap joint. How that process of cutting it out, I repeated that to these guys where I marked where the frame needed to rest into. This is where I wish I knew that there was a plunge cut attachment for a sawzall to help me right here because hand chiseling, I am still so sore from it. It's definitely worth it to be able to say I hand chiseled this for myself, but uh, again, you wanna work smarter, not harder sometimes. And in this case, there is a tool made for that. So just make sure you do your research a little bit more than I did here. I went in with a wire brush and then my sander and repeated the same grit process until it was as clean as I could get it. And please make sure you're wearing a mask. Um, do as I say, not as I do right here. I, I just think I was over, I was really over it. I wanted to give up to be honest. I almost gave up. That was excruciating. Oh my god, my hands. This is my first large build here at the house and I have to say right here made everything worth it when I started putting everything together and seeing what it looked like. It's really incredible what you can do with your own two hands, specifically when it's your first time. So I always tell you guys, sometimes it looks like I fail, but I'm always failing forward. So never stop trying and even though the build looks intimidating, it's actually quite simple when you break it down. This thing's gonna come in with you, but I don't think it's gonna fit. We have some situating to do in three, two, but it already looks sick. Okay. So, ooh. And just a side note, this is sort of, or this is the inspiration for my bedroom actual renovation. I just wanted to make a bed frame, see if I liked it. And also, like I couldn't resist making a temporary one, but also I can't help but think this is gonna be a permanent one. Two. I'm sorry. Whoever's gonna date me next is gonna come over. Oh, where'd you get your bed frame? I made it. Yeah. Intimidating. Oh my god. Yeah, wait. Till, oh, okay. Yeah, this just made me very excited. Very excited. I truly did want to use as much wood as I could for my property and I love when something gives me motivation and inspiration to demo large structures. So one morning <laughs> I went outside and I spent like three hours demoing these three large structures that I've been wanting to get rid of so I can see this cute tower. Anyways, long story short, I needed these four by eight sheets of plywood off of these things and I could easily just remove two sheets that I needed, but I didn't and another fun fact, I bursted my first pipe and instead of panicking, I am friends with the OG father carpenter of this house, so I called her. She happened to have a friend over that's a plumber. They came over and actually capped the pipe for me, showed me around a little bit and helped me and I've never felt more grateful. And even when they left, I'm not even kidding, I teared up a little bit because I've never had people like that in a community like this and it just made me feel some type of way. Anyways, let's get back to the fact that this structure is just gonna fall on down and that's where the pipe burst, okay? Keep that in mind. I would typically never take down a structure like that, but I wasn't about to stand up and take that roof apart. Did you see how quick that fell? Okay, now for the one behind it. YouTube, 
If you do not follow me, hi. If you do not follow me on Instagram, you won't know about the sexy neighbor. Oh, guess you guys do know about the sexy neighbor because of the jacuzzi. This gentleman, let me tell you, your girl is not dating, but I'm allowed to flirt. It is so much work to be so casual with this gentleman. So we are kind of leaning towards not the sexy neighbor. So yeah, we're just really dating ourselves. Just to be on the safe side of things, I'm definitely gonna glue this to these legs and then screw them. Just because it's soft wood. If this was harder wood, I wouldn't be attaching these, but just so they don't wiggle out on their own. I'm just gonna squeeze a bunch of excess in there, clamp it so it gets a little bit of, like it can sit for a second. Come with me. Little leg, a big leg. All right. Have your speed square on hand. Make sure this is level, which this is not, so it needs to come in from the bottom. So, that is square to the floor. I'm gonna take these little clamps just to hold them in place while I do the other pieces. I pre-drilled some holes using a countersink bit so the screws are flush to the frame going into the leg and just making your life a lot easier because I was using longer screws. I did add two more middle supports. I don't want to be shady, but I did. It was not strong. As I mentioned, I wanted to use as much wood for my property as possible, so I cut down those pieces of plywood that I pulled off those structures to fit on each half of the bed. That way, when I went to screw it in, it had so much room to grab and it would be completely flush because those are a little warped, but it's nothing those screws couldn't handle. I have a How I Keep My Balance vlog coming up and I wanted to showcase how frustrated I get because I really was getting deflated towards the end of this build heading into different deadlines, but that's just pure anger right there. It was A-OK -okay though because your girl cut and sanded so much wood, excess wood, because I was gonna originally make this a platform bed. Just a little friendly reminder if you're skipping through the video and missing some juicy information. I continue to use those finishing nails to connect those outer pieces to the two x four frame. And yes, I see that chunk missing, but I will fix that later, but not during this video because I didn't realize it till like literally the end of it. Before we head into my reaction, because apparently that's what we're doing now, you gotta break it down. There's only three parts to this. One, building a frame. Two, chiseling out some legs, which is just tedious. And three, wrapping it in the wood of your choice. Oh my God, what in the world? Ah! Oh, who, me? Oh, this bed? Where'd I get it? I built it. Oh, the lumber you say? Oh, you cannot buy it. Oh, why? Because it's for my property. Uh, it just breaks. It just goes, doo -doo. oh, I'm covered in dirt. It just goes, doo -doo -doo -doo. ah, oh, ah, e, ooh, ah, what? That bed? Not for you. I mean, you guys. Even though I'm not making any crazy renovations or demos to my bedroom right now, that doesn't mean that I can't live the life of luxury or have it be a reflection of me working with what I got. That also doesn't mean that I need to sacrifice the quality of my sleep, which is something I've been taking very seriously since I've moved solo, since it's really like me on my own taking care of myself. Brooklinen's top priority is quality and there is also luxury at an affordable price. You spend a third of your life in sheets. Don't you want that time to be comfortable? Because let me tell you, I sure do. They offer luxurious products at an affordable price so you can be bougie on a budget. You can bundle and save 25% when you purchase their hardcore bundle. And you can also mix and match their designs, which is really fun for me just moving forward for other spaces. That way I have flexibility. I highly suggest that you check Brooklyn and out. They have way more products than bedding available for you, but you can click the link in the description box and use my promo code METS to save $20 on a purchase of $100 or more. Ooh, she's cute. Thank you so much to Brooklyn and for sponsoring today's episode and just contributing to the fact that I sleep so incredibly. Now let's get back to styling the remainder of this bedroom. I feel a little rude because I'm not trying to not make over the room right now, but your girl was so physically exhausted after this build. I only did a couple of things to quote unquote make it over on the walls, but I want to revisit this and just decorate with what I have throughout my house. So let me know on the community poll if that's something you're interested in and I'll totally film that. But I was just depleted after this. Grateful, but totally deflated. 
<gasps> Cold. Don't look there. There is something really interesting going on over here on my property, and that is just building, like, I'm honestly living to DIY. Like, the name of my channel is Full Blown Coming to Life, and I think it's pretty incredible. And I'm just very grateful, and even though some stuff that I'm gonna be sharing coming up is on the more vulnerable side of things and more real, that's what I want this channel to become. So I'm sorry that I'm not doing trendy DIYs, I'm not keeping up with the times, but I'm just trying to show you how I'm living and DIYing the best life I can possibly build for myself in every single DIY that I'm doing, including this bed right here. This bed also inspired me to DIY something small to add a little bit more texture after adding such a pretty piece. Yeah, it needed more texture. If you guys follow the house tour, you'd see this plane. It just needed some floofy. It couldn't be so flat. It was like too much white on white on white on white on white on white, even though this is still, this is like dirty. Um, this is a DIY I made off screen three years ago because I wanted therapy and you guys all love it. Cute. Oh yeah, tuck me in right there, right? Like, made it way better. Um, hi, I don't typically do this, but I wanted to check in and I'm not kidding, these sheets after a week, I would wake up like in cold sweats, like super uncomfortable because I'm getting used to the desert weather. And I do have to say these Brook linen sheets and I'll link them down below for you have made me sleep so much easier. I just feel like I can actually breathe and I really, didn't know that by switching up your sheets, it could make such a big difference. I know that sounds kind of naive, but I've always just been taught to settle. And why settle when you can get Brooklinen and be bougie on a budget and be getting the best night's sleep out here in the desert? Thank you so much again to Brooklinen for sponsoring today's episode and inspiring this build. And also thank you to you guys for just being along this weird journey. There are so many random videos coming out, but I've never been happier. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon for another DIY.